Same old, same old. I'm just here for the uh, Tony Hamburg. I know you are. I know you are. I like the Christmas experience. You like that? You yep. like that? Did you do that just to your office? Is it like my house? I've got a. Um, well, I haven't got the house stuff done yet. Well, I'm saying, did you do your office, or was that done for you? Uh, I did this. You did this. Yeah, okay. This my trees. My... So, so you are not the Grinch. I'm not the Grinch. I okay. mean, I even offer candy, Christmas candy. Um, All right. I'm not the Grinch. Okay. So you know, we just did this yesterday, but Coach. Looking ahead this week, opening statement, and then we'll take questions. Yeah, so obviously coming off of what ended up being a dis disappointing result in you know the final score at Michigan State, I thought our team grew. Um, you definitely saw that from, I think we performed better from Purdue to Michigan State. Um, really a one or two possession game up there. And I think it was, I think it was a two point game. We had the ball with around a minute to go. And then I think it was a four-point game. We had the ball again around 30, 40 seconds to go. So definitely tighter than the 10 points. Um, our group feels like we need to be cleaner at the end on both ends of the floor uh, to come away with the win. And they're right. Um, and that includes all of us. You know, so that's kind of the wrap-up of, of maybe the first part of this week, which we've always kind of put these next three games together, I think. Um, you know, Tomorrow, Wright State, quality opponent. Have, they've been on the road basically all year to this point against really quality teams. So I, I think their record doesn't reflect the kind of group that they are. Um, we will have to you know, be ready to, to play well at home, which is a thing in basketball. You really got to do a good job of taking care of your home floor. Uh, they have really a pretty athletic group at all positions. They're aggressive on the offensive end. They'll be the same on defense. So we'll have to, uh, you know, the typical stuff, we'll have to find a way to rebound uh, with them. Um, need to get back and get our defense set, make it, uh, make it a half-court game on that end of the floor. Um, at times, we struggled with that at Michigan State. So we got to get that, got to get that back a little bit to a certain degree and get out on shooters and, you know, really guard the ball well because they'll, they'll stress our defense from a, from a uh, driving perspective. Uh, taking back, just not to linger too much on the win, uh, but now that you've seen what your team's capable of, now that you know, or at least we've seen, things get a little harder, the standard pace, and now that you know that, okay, you can reach this level, let's take it to the next level. I think that we came out of there more confident group. And I believe that we have always felt like we should, this group should be taking steps forward. And, and I think we started the year um, doing that. You know, we're 3-0 and going into these two games, gave, us our, gave ourselves a chance to win. Really, either one of them needed to play better to get it done. But I also know that if you had told me at the beginning of the year, you know, whatever the number was at Purdue, you're going to be down six points on the road at Purdue with three minutes to go, I probably, I mean, you kind of have to say, I'll take it. And you got to take your chances at the end. I know if you told me yeah, they're, you're, it's 73-71 at Michigan State with a minute and 30 seconds to go, you say, we'll do it and we'll, we'll take it. So. Um, we put ourselves in good positions in those games and didn't play quite well enough to get it done. So it should help us transition from a confidence perspective. But I also know that with that comes, you know, we need to do a good job against Wright State. We need to do a good job against Coppin State. What just went on and the if, ands, or buts about Michigan State are completely irrelevant now. And now we have a new challenge against, you know, basically a peer who is a program that's had a bunch of success lately, um, NCAA tournaments and different things like that. We need to grow in our ability to to play well in a game like that, you know, and the consistency of our entire program to be better in the Wright State game and then followed up with Coppin State, and then we got to handle finals, and then we got to do it again at St. Bonaventure. And so stringing, can we as a program string together 
a whole bunch of good games in the first semester. That, to me, is what we're going through. And I do think if you look at what we've done, we're putting together a pretty consistent body of work. We, need, we, we wanted to win one. You know, we wanted to beat Michigan State. But I, I don't know that there's been a stinker of an effort out of I don't know, five games. You know, we've got to continue that. We need to lace them up and get after it tomorrow. You talk about some of your performances. What you like the most out there when you're looking at your squad, and, and maybe I know coaches don't want to give too much away, but uh, what do you think you need to see uh, fix? So I, the thing I like most, the, the bounce back from two for 21 from three, followed by one for 17 at Purdue, and didn't talk. I don't didn't talk about that a lot, other than to tell them they're they're good offensive players. So quit acting like you're not in in your own mental space. Really, get out of your own way. You know, shoot the ball. I got a ton of confidence in you. Um, you know, put your shoulders back and compete. And I I think you definitely saw a team much closer to what they actually are offensively. You know, us running around and shooting it off the side of the backboard like we did at Purdue. That it, it shouldn't be happening. And, and I thought we kind of got that corrected again. Now, basketball, you play so many times, it will happen again where we don't shoot it well. You know? And I, I think that coming out of Purdue, that is a great lesson to learn. You're still right there. You were on the road against a quality team, shooting as bad as you could shoot, and you were still right there. And so you can win games. You don't have to have everything hitting on all cylinders to win games. And so that is the thing that I like the most about Michigan State suppress the thing that just didn't go very well and move on with it. I thought we did that very well. Um, I got to talking, Paul, and I forgot the second half of your question. But I, I know there was two parts. I was going to ask you, just you know, if you could, without giving too much away, you know, what are you keying in on maybe uh, performance-wise, either just as a team or individually? What are you keying on to try to get up? Well, I, down the stretch of that game, um, I think we put a little – Maybe going back to the same type of mentality that we had at Purdue that led to one for 17, we pressed in the last two minutes of that game. So we had played calm, we had got the ball where we wanted to go, and, it, and we, we tightened up and we, we tried too hard, which sounds completely opposite of what you need to do, but it is actually what you need to do. You've got to relax the ball. You, we got it to really good players, and, you know, I've – gone back and told them both that again. We got the ball right where we wanted it to go. Um, just be calm, figure out how they guarded you and get them, you know. And so that, I think, is the biggest lesson. You have to be better at the end. We needed a stop. We didn't get it. Um, we needed a shot on goal, um, and we didn't get that. So I, I think 38 minutes are pretty good, or maybe 39 and a half minutes are pretty good, cleaner on offense right, right there in the last two or three possessions. Well, one thing that's happened throughout the years, I've actually talked about her a lot, like just wait, she's going to score the ball for us. And at Purdue, I thought in a moment where we were kind of looking around and trying to figure out how we were going to mount a comeback at times, she, she did that. Um, her stat line wasn't very good when you look at shots and different things like that at Purdue, but I thought she showed an aggressive mentality. And then she hit the really what was the biggest shot of that game last night. We were, they finally got us by, I think they pushed it out to five, and she hit a three on that next possession. She's been doing that in practice since she arrived here in July. Like big moments, you try to, you can't, you can't simulate that. But you do try to simulate it to a certain degree, and she makes a lot of those kind of shots, so it doesn't surprise me at all. She's going to score, start to score it more consistently than she has to this point in the year. She makes a lot of big plays. I love her mentality. Um, she's been a joy to coach. She's a really good competitor. I mean, I could go on and on and on. Um, golly, I wish she was here a long time ago, and put it that way. You know, but we only get a year together, and we're having a pretty good time to this point. So I expect a lot out of her. She knows that. She expects a lot out of herself. Um, she carries herself in a manner that she wants the ball in those spots against Michigan State, and that's all good with me. I like it. And things over to Jason. Here's one question, Coach. Obviously, the way the basketball schedule lays out, you 
start the season in the thick of the fall uh, semester, and then you play your conference schedule in during the spring semester. But here we're getting ready to embark on a you know, month worth of games where you have first you have exams, and, but then you have um, you have basketball with those with those schools. Now, how do you how do you handle that with your team? How, how does the approach change, if at all, transitioning from one to the other, then to the third? Yeah, yeah I mean you're you're right. right. We, we go, go through kind of a it's a unique point in time and one thing that I really like about our group of girls they we have a lot of different people in challenging majors we have uh, you know people that are in master's programs trying to finish that up so this is typically a time where they, they do go through quite a bit of stress right here on on two ends of, of the spectrum and um, you try to set them up you try to get them organized and, and our group does a pretty good job of that they need to be organized on the front end academically to kind of push through this next two week period there's usually a lot of stuff do there's a lot of tests and things like that and then uh they definitely can kind of take a take a step back and sigh and and uh you can get them in the gym a little bit more and shoot and different things like that once finals are over with but um we have a really important string of games coming up um you know, I think we have, we've played five, so I guess we've got six games to go. And they're all very worthy opponents. Um, I know we'll have to play well night in and night out to continue to progress as a team. So I think it's a, all of those challenges wrapped together are one that our group's ready for. Um, and that's going to lead right into conference play, which, um, you know, we, we want to play well in Conference USA play and um, trying to set ourselves up for that. Thanks. Thank you.